Okay, this is my build of a rather marvellous circuit that I saw on Instructables.com the other day. It's by a fella called How To Do, and it's got to be the simplest levitator I've ever seen, uh, regardless of types. Um, this uses a hall sensor, and here is the circuit. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's probably easier than the Adam Bus one. Um, I guess lead motor and others might want to build this one, but uh, it uses just a MOSFET, a 1K resistor to the positive line. We've got a diode across the coil, and you don't even need the resistor and the LED that shows you what the coil's doing, but I found it to be invaluable. Um, and it uses a, a hall sensor. Um, my hall sensor comes down the side here and goes underneath because I found out that this steel rod was very important for getting it to run. I've got a little piece of um, plastic that I'm using as like a to turn the thing with to get the right amount of turns. And then it worked out fine. And I so said the LED shows you when it's on or off. If I pluck this away from here and then show it going nearer, you can see the light goes on and off. But um, it attaches easy enough, pretty stable. Knock the thing around. A um, few more details. Um, 5 volts it runs on, so a USB phone charger. Uh, 250 milliamps when it's levitating an object, 350 milliamps when it's not. And I've used 800 turns of about 30 AWG for my build. I've actually used various strands of wire that I've uh, soldered together. So, But you can see that's really all there is in that corner there. Um, take this one off. I've got one with a propeller on it. There we go, there's that one. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to get more power out of it, that more holding power um, out of this with adding magnets and such around. I don't know yet, I've just got this running and I thought I'd uh, forward it. But um, I'm really very, very impressed with it, considering that, you know, the components it uses. Um, How to do has uh, a thing with his name on, so there we are. Do that with mine too. Whoops. Yeah. yeah. I can show you this at the moment. Let's do, I can do some of this live. That's where I've got it at the moment. If I twist this around a couple of turns, you can see now, and try it again, put it back in the top, it might work better for this one. And it does. So that's what I found is that the uh, steel rod going down through the middle is actually important for my build. How to do has his hole sensor going down through the middle, but uh, it might be easier. It certainly was in my case to have that steel rod and adjust the distance. And then, like you've just seen there, it now works fine with the slider two seven three two. Um, probably still will work fine with a piece of tape one. Yeah, there we go. So that was a better setting for it. Anyway, so there's the circuit diagram again, and I was just thrilled with this. Uh, got to be the simplest one I've ever seen in my life. And um, thanks for watching.